Okay, welcome back. Um, we're going to put on the horizontal stabilizer in this video. And uh, you want to get this right. And so here's how I do it. First off, on the horizontal stabilizer, there's a flat spot from here to there. Okay. And so if you look at it this way, I put two little black marks there and there right at the beginning of that flat spot, okay? Because that's really the um, center, uh, that should be the center of the, uh, of the horizontal stabilizer. <clears throat> What's not the center of the horizontal stabilizer is where they strip this off. That's not in the center, okay? It's off by a fraction of an inch, okay? Um, and so is the one on the bottom too. So what you're going to do is line those two black marks that I have. And again, let me show them to you. Get a little closer so you can see them. Okay, you see the two black marks here and there. Okay, so I'm going to line those two black, those two black marks up so they're even with the uh, edges of the fuselage back there. And I've got a box of nice push pins. I'm going to take a push pin and just make sure that that is centered and push a pin very close to the edge. Because if you push it, the pin back from the edge, you'll go in a hole. <laughs> it won't hold anything. Okay, so uh, that push pin is going to hold it there. Now what you got to do is adjust it this way and this way a little bit. To where you can measure, notice I got the wing on, and I've got a um, 36 inch steel rule ruler, and it has metric and inches, and I'm going to use the metric side. So I'm going to measure from, hold that right there, right from this corner where the, where the wing meets the um, Fuselage. I'm going to measure from that corner, okay, out to the tip here, and it's uh, 400. I'm sorry, it's 846 millimeters. Okay, so uh, 846 millimeters to this tip here. Now I'm going to come around here, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm Put that measurement right there, and that says 845 and a half. Okay, let me measure that again. 840, yep, 845 and a half. Guess what? 845 and a half and 846 are the same. Okay, now what I want you to do once those two measurements are identical is take a Sharpie marker. Fine Sharpie marker and mark on the back end of the horizontal stab here where those two, um, where the end of the fuselage meets the um, uh, back of the horizontal stab. Okay. So then when you pull this out, <clears throat> you have two marks. Right there and there, one there, one there. So when you go ready to glue this in, it's going to be easy to pin this, or it's going to be easy to line that up, and then shift this back and forth a little bit to line that up, and you'll find that, in my case, anyways, you, you can see right here. Let me see if I can get close enough. You see right here, I got a little black mark there, okay? That little black mark is the mark along here, and it shows that this little um, cutout here wasn't exactly right. So there's not going to be a cutout there. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm not going to try to recover it or anything. Uh, I did iron it. It's glued down nicely. I'm not going to disturb it. But what I'm going to do is make sure when we epoxy this, I'm going to have a little extra epoxy right here to make sure two things that that's fuel proofed 
and that it the uh, covering will uh, not come up at that point. So we'll take that, care of that with epoxy. Okay, so that's how you measure it, and then you come back here and measure that, and then you got to make sure you know how you're going to hold it down. Well, one good way to hold it down is with the pin here. This center section here is nice, good, thick uh, plywood, and you're not going to get a pin through it. So what I'm going to do is two things. Once I get it in place, I'm going to take some low-tack tape, that blue painter's tape, and wrap it from here around to hold this down. And then for good measure, I'm going to take a nice solid uh, lead weight here and put that right in the middle so that there's pressure downward and that these two don't move. So this is going to be fixed. This is going to be fixed. This is going to give me um, some pressure downward. And you don't need a lot of pressure. Uh, this is 500 uh, or it's a half a, it's a, it's a pound. Okay, 500 kilos. <laughs> Five, I'm sorry, 500 uh, uh, grams. Um, 500 grams, yeah. 500 grams would be a pound, about a pound. 1.1 pounds, exactly. Okay, um, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, next, I'm going to stop, get my epoxy ready, and we'll get this thing going. Stay tuned, be right back. Okay, um... One thing I forgot to mention uh, previously uh, when I started this video was uh, I also made sure before I got all this ready that the um, horizontal and vertical stabilizer fit nicely when they're together. So um, I did this, made sure you know everything fit, no um, issues anywhere, and uh, so we'll. Uh, that looks good. Also, you note that the um, rudder and the elevator I've taken out and left the um, uh, CA hinges in the rudder and the uh, elevator. So, <clears throat> the other thing you're going to want to make sure you can do when you do this is you're going to want to make sure you can easily turn the airplane over like that. Because you want to be able to get to the back side here where the uh, stuff is going to drip out if you're not careful. And so just make sure you're, you're, you've got plenty of working room here so that you can uh, get everything ready. Okay, so um, got my roll of paper towels, got a couple of paper towels here, got my blue tape, I got uh, plenty of extra um, epoxy brushes. Got my T-pin, got my epoxy, 30 minute, make sure it's 30 minute epoxy. Got my weight, got my mixing cup, got plenty of stir sticks. Um, got my bottle of alcohol, got my Q-tips uh, that help clean stuff and I got extra wooden sticks if I need them. And uh, so I think I'm ready. I'm gonna start mixing. <clears throat> So you always use 30 minute epoxy because it um, is much stronger than the six minute. The slow cure time is what makes that much stronger. And you're going to mix quite a bit here. Uh, I always try to mix too much, uh, much better than not enough. So I'm going to fill the bottom of the cup, 50-50 mixture, and fill the bottom of the cup up. Okay, that looks pretty 50-50 to me. Make sure you put the cap on the right one when you put it back. Get a nice stir stick out and let's start stirring. So you can see I've got the uh, bottom, well yeah, yeah, I guess you can see that. I've got the bottom of the cup uh, pretty well full. And I'm going to use the brushes. The brushes will make it easier. I'm sure I've got way too much, but that's okay. Alright, that looks well mixed. 
next. Throw that stir stick away. All right, so I'm going to start with the fuselage and paint it first. And try not to get it everywhere, but try to get a nice even coat. You have to go to the well several times. Not painting the Mona Lisa here. So we can't take too much time. 30 minutes goes by quickly. Try not to drop any inside. I think I just did, but no, no I didn't. Okay, good. There's not much down there you're going to ruin anyways. So, uh, Remember, we are going to paint both sides here. Done with this side. Okay. That looks pretty good. Got plenty left over. Now you don't have to do the in the interior of this because the interior doesn't have anything to to uh, stick to. It's got these, these two big holes so when I go to paint the uh, horizontal stab I'm just painting around the edges and that's why I marked the one side that remind me that the one edge is not where the um, actual edge is. And you want it a bit on the outside of the edge too so um, I'm just going to paint the four sides. I'm not going to, there's a little bar here in the middle. I'm not going to worry about putting any on here because I don't know where it is and that's okay. Because this is a critical component, I'm doing this very carefully, trying to get a nice even coat. So I go to the cup a lot, and then once I, it's all basically around, then I'll go around and mop up a little. If I have to, I'll put some back in the cup. And there's going to be a lot to clean up afterwards with this one. And because i got lots of brushes, I'm going to throw that brush away. And if I need another brush, I will um, get a new one. So now, okay, so that's in place. Left and right looks good. Back here, left and right looks good. Stick my pin in. Okay, that looks good. And that looks good. I'm gonna use some blue painter tape. To wrap that around and hold it in place. Okay, and then time to turn it over. Make sure that blue painter shape is going to hold. That pin is not going to be in the way. Turn it over. Okay, 
and I'm going to start cleaning up the excess here. Take a cotton swab, squirt it down, and just run along the edge here. Um, if you don't turn it upside down, all this goo is going to run down to the, the uh, side of the fuselage. get all of this stuff up so that when I put the weight on I'm going to turn it back over and put the weight on um, all this is gone Two edges look good and clean. I'm going to turn the airplane back over. Still got plenty of working time here. Check my alignment. It's not aligned. All right. It shifted when I put the tape on somehow. Okay. So I'm going to align it. I think I'm going to take this tape off because it's got a little goo on it. Grab me another piece of tape. I'm going to start the tape from the bottom this time. And then make sure my alignment is good. And tape it down. Okay. And then, so that looks well aligned. I'm going to put my weight on. And press it down and hold it. Okay, and then the weight will hold it, and uh, then I'm going to take some um, cotton swabs and peer under here. That's good. It's a nice even bead, which you want on that side, no drips. Got a nice even bead coming out and no drips. I didn't actually need this. All right, so um, what I always like to do is take the whatever's left in the cup, mix it around a little bit, and then leave that stick sitting in the cup. And that's going to tell me when my 30 minutes are up and when it's hard. Um, so um, I'm going to check it in probably uh, five minutes, every, every five minutes to make sure there's nothing oozing down until this is hard and uh, everything's dry. My basically 30 minute epoxy is up. And uh, so that's going to hold it. That's going to hold it. That's going to hold it. And we're good to go. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned in the next video.